All right, taking a peek at Apple stock, you see on the right there, it's still slip sliding away amid the first revenue decline at the company in a fiscal year uh, since going back to 2001. Also slipped on earnings here, and some people concerned that maybe, maybe Apple uh, could be hurting here, even uh, with an upbeat forecast. Former Apple CEO John Scully with us right now. Uh, John, as you look through this and get a sense of what's going on, you, you hear a lot of the same kind of headlines that Apple has lost its mojo, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, 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 it just isn't coming up with flashy new innovative products, let alone the fact that any company that could sell 45 million uh, phones, it, 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 that's a lot. But it, again, it, it, it's high expectations that now are not being realized. What now? Well, I don't, don't have any inside information, as you know. Um, I'm focused on fintech and health tech and marketing tech and not directly involved in anything that's uh, directly comparable to Apple's business. But I can't help with uh, having several decades of perspective look at Apple. And I know that the basic foundation that Steve Jobs built, which is we're going to sell beautiful product experiences to people who love us, it's still there. It's solid. It's sustainable. And the Apple iPhone uh, drives the company. There's no indication that it's not going to continue to be a great success going forward. So we can get distracted by, you know, a lot of things that go on at any particular moment, like uh, the news over the last uh, couple of days about Apple's earnings. But the reality is that the iPhone is alive and well, and uh, it's got a great leader at Apple with uh, Tim Cook. So I'm still very optimistic with Apple. Spec the stock will be worth a lot more a year from now than it is today. Well, we'll see about that. In the meantime, uh, you know, now we got reports this past week that Apple was looking at Time Warner. Uh, for all I know, could still look at Time Warner. Um, what did you make of that and that uh, maybe Tim Cook is out there shopping or, uh, around to maybe spend some of that huge cash hoard? Well, here's how I think about it. Um, we are at one of these uh, important moments in consumer technology where a lot of key things are going to be reinvented. Uh, other very successful companies have already made their pivoting moves, some with quite a bit of success. So you see companies like Google with YouTube are now starting to uh, produce their own content. You see Amazon producing their own content uh, in media. Uh, you see that uh, the high-tech companies like Facebook and Snapchat say we're going to build the next generation television networks and we're going to make it mobile because millennials don't sign up much for cable. And those kinds of pivots are happening while uh, AT&T and Verizon are, are both trying to reinvent their future right. uh, more as media marketing companies. And so the big question is, so what is Apple going to do? I believe that Apple should focus in on the fact that the iPhone is the best mobile media experience in the world. And they ought to move, in my opinion, into owning their own media, producing their own content. Uh, and whether they do that by acquisition or they have $248 billion or right. invest, uh, that makes total sense to me that, that, that Apple needs to look at that. I think that's a much bigger play than an Apple Watch or... Um, then you know, what are they, though, music. John? At that point, what kind of company are they uh, when we get there? I mean, I don't know. Well, think about it this way. Apple trades at a, a very low multiple for uh, an, an innovative high-tech company. I mean, I think the multiple is somewhere around 13. And uh, look at Facebook, look at Amazon, look at Google. They trade at multiples many times higher than Apple. So I think it would be just fine if Apple said, look, uh, we don't have to always be about cool technology. Uh, there are new technologies like AI and you know, artificial intelligence right. that are coming along, and uh, um, you know, messaging is, is already huge. You see uh, Facebook uh, pivoting towards uh, messaging following what uh, WeChat has done, owned by Tencent over in China. So does Apple play the high-tech game, or can Apple leverage uh, this great consumer franchise, the people who love it, and move further into media? I would bet that uh, media would be a very smart move for, for Apple to build their own content, even look at building uh, their own global television uh, network. The fact is it doesn't have to be cable anymore. It can be uh, television over mobile devices, and Apple owns the iPad. It owns the uh, iPhone as great platforms to do that. So 
Uh, I think Tim Cook's smart to be looking at that. And they also have the cash if they wanted to go out and buy Snapchat or they wanted to buy yeah, Netflix. Yeah, they certainly don't have to go into um, debt like AT&T. They, they can certainly do it. You know, you're right. Absolutely. John. So I, I'm optimistic they could okay. do a lot of good things. All right. Uh, John Scully, thank you. Very good catching up with you. Thank you, Neil.